Hey everybody, this is Chip Glennon. Welcome back to our video blog. Today I want to take a moment and talk about the properties and the homes that are hardest to sell. Before we get into our video, I want to point you out to a couple of important resources here on our page. First of all, if you're thinking about selling your home, click on our free home market evaluation tab. If you're in the market to buy a home or you're thinking about beginning the home shopping process, click on our home search tab as well. Back on our topic now, which homes are the hardest and which properties are the hardest to resell? And so I made a list here of a few that I just want to talk through with you and some of you will recognize a few of these, but probably the first uh, thing that popped in my mind of the hardest homes to sell and over 1900 home sales uh, that, that my team has successfully closed. Odd shaped houses or odd properties in general are usually a challenge and we've sold plenty of those. Uh, over the years you know we've sold properties uh, like like schools that were closed down that you know were not a, not an easy end user to find for something like that but we successfully got those properties closed. Um, oddball shaped pieces of properties that are not perfectly squared or don't have a a lot of road frontage sometimes can be challenge, more challenging to sell and um, but you know there's always a strategy for every property and the guy that taught me this business he told me one time you know there's a butt for every chair and I'll never forget him saying that there's always somebody who wants a property and you know the thing is the the price and the value to that property has to be commiserate to the the um, the type of property that it is so the number one probably thing that's hardest or the biggest challenge in selling a property is one that's a little odd or different than what the normal average properties out there are that the appraiser is going to be using to um, establish value on. The second, um, the second type of property that I think can be challenging or harder to sell or, or when a home is overbuilt for the area or it's a little bit nicer or in some cases much nicer than the other houses in the direct area. And, and sometimes that can be problematic from an appraisal and a lending standpoint to hit the valuations when the home is over improved or overbuilt for the area. We've sold plenty of homes like this. It's just a matter of making sure that our seller understands uh, the challenges from a borrower's perspective and from a lender's perspective when we get to the appraisal. If in fact it does bring more in line what it might if it was in a similar neighborhood with similar size homes. The third thing I think that can be challenging and make a, a property hard to harder to sell or when we have clients with unrealistic expectations um, and we've we've worked with a lot of clients over the years and we have some great clients um, and our goal is to make sure our sellers are the most educated sellers in the marketplace. Sometimes a seller that has unrealistic expectations whether it be because they owe too much on a property, they refinance the property and pulled the equity out, um, that can make it challenging sometimes to get a property moved for them because there's other forces at play versus just what the market condition uh, say that property may be worth. So remember there's just there's four primary factors that, that we look at. The condition of the property, how the property is priced compared to competitively uh, competitive properties, um, the location of the property is the number one factor and then of course the marketing that's thrown towards getting the property sold. Um, the fourth thing I would say for the most challenging property is a property that just is not prepared or staged properly to hit the market um, for buyers to look at. What you've got to remember as a seller is buyers are competitive shopping. They're out there comparison shopping your home to other properties available. So if a home isn't properly prepared, showroom ready, um, just like that brand new Mustang GT or Corvette that's sitting on the showroom floor, tires are armor all, smells good, looks good, whether it's used or new, it has to be prepared to hit the market. And for a home, one that's been professionally staged um, and is, is really showroom ready is going to attract the highest possible offer and bring the top dollar. Sometimes the thing that can make a home hard to sell is when we aren't able to give buyers reasonable access to the property. Sometimes, and there's good reason at times, sellers don't um, allow buyers to see it during normal showing hours, which is typically during dinner time after work. And if we have a daytime sleeper or things like that, that can make a property obviously challenging to sell. The sixth thing would be when we have a property or a client who's unprepared um, for the process expectation wise. 
it can be somewhat inconvenient at times to have strangers coming through your home, especially in a hot seller's market like this, you know, one after another. And, it, you know, to sell your home and somebody's going to spend multiple six figures to buy it, they're going to want to really see the house and get comfortable with it before they put a contract on it. So, you know, it, it can be very inconvenient in your normal everyday life when strangers are coming through your home. I would say those are the top six things that I could think of uh, that make it challenging to sell a home. Otherwise, if we have the right strategy, if we have a smart home selling strategy put in place, there's I, I've had very few properties. If they match the location, the condition, um, the, the marketing, and, and all of those things fit together, we can sell just about any property that I've ever taken a swing at. So I feel like um, you know there's a strategy for every property to get it sold and, and you as a seller, those are the decisions that we can help you make uh, in that process. Guys, I wanna just thank you again for watching the video. We'll see you in a couple weeks with another one on a new topic. If you have a topic that you'd like us to talk about, please send it in and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks again for watching the video.